people who learn a lot by doing things can really benefit from Mayo's training program. I think our program can offer applicants good foundations in what you might call bread and butter pathology, but also some really incredible subspecialty training. You also feel like you're contributing meaningfully to the active management of the patient. You get to do a lot of things, and you get to interact with a lot of different people every day, and that all just equates to doing a lot of learning all the time. I think one of the things that's most special about our residency program is Mayo Clinic itself. Our motto is the needs of the patient come first, and even though pathology is not necessarily a patient-facing specialty, I still feel that mission in my work every day. There's a spirit of collaboration, and I think that that's something that immediately becomes apparent as soon as you start working here. We get patients and cases from all over the world all the time. I feel like as a resident, you know, I get to diagnose rare diseases every day. Our staff are so approachable, so great, and so knowledgeable, really experts in the field. That goes a long way in helping reinforce a lot of the things that you might be expected to know or you want to know. As I finished out my interview season, I just couldn't really get Mayo out of my head. Before I knew it, I realized it was the only place I wanted to be. The AP curriculum here, in my opinion, is just really fun. The best example of that is the frozen section lab. We have a really unique method here at Mayo that lets us look at slides in under about two minutes. You get that immediate feedback of, you know, what section did I just put up and what does it look like under the microscope? This is one of the few autopsy programs that is a combined program of both hospital autopsy and medical legal autopsy as well. The residents get a lot of exposure in those areas. We do a lot of digital pathology here at Mayo Clinic. I do think it's really important for trainees to have the opportunity to use digital pathology in order to sort of future-proof yourself. There are a lot of opportunities for novel and cutting-edge technologies that, as a trainee, I think it's quite beneficial to be exposed to. The CP training here at Mayo, I think, is probably unmatched across the board. We have education specialists whose basically entire job is to make sure that you have learned everything you need to know to be a good clinical pathologist, as well as to be very successful academically. As education specialists, I'm going to get them started for the day. I'm going to introduce them to the laboratorians. Our laboratorians are actually going to take them through their workflow. They're going to sit with them on the bench. They're going to show them how samples are received, how they're tested, how they're handled, how they're resulted. Mayo Clinic Laboratories is a really interesting aspect that's fairly unique to our program. It gives you the opportunity to actually get to see not just the common things, but you can see the tests that maybe at a lot of institutions you'd have to send out. And I think it just gives you a lot broader basis in clinical pathology. There is just an amazing amount of teamwork that goes into working up the cases. The residents, because of that, have a very strong support structure available to them as they learn. We provide a lot of orientation to our residents. We train them in how to grow specimens, perform autopsies, and even how rotations function. So ultimately, our residents are never left without support or help. I think the residency program strives to try and encourage residents to get together outside of work and partake in activities that, that are totally the opposite of pathology. It is just a highlight of a lot of the talents that the faculty have and other residents have. The Department of Laboratory Medicine has wellness programs for our, our trainees and they do a, a lot of wonderful activities with the residents and their families so that they can get together and, and to establish those friendships during the time that they're here. I love living in Rochester. One of my favorite things about it is how accessible everything is. 
from a work perspective, I wake up in the morning, I leave my house, and then 10 minutes later, I'm at this world-class hospital. And it has everything that you need to live happily. Uh, it's got all the grocery stores and big box stores you need. And we have a lot of awesome community events like Thursdays Downtown. This is an event that actually occurs really close to where we work. We'll go down and have food from the vendors, listen to the music, things like that. So it's a really fun event. No matter where you go, residency is going to be difficult, but there's nothing that says that your life outside of work has to be extra hard either. I feel really safe at home and at work, and overall I feel like I have a really great life, and honestly I don't know if I could have had the same experience anywhere else.